is at e power ax plus by. If v is equal to z e power ax plus by, and z is a homogeneous degree function, and z is a homogeneous function of degree n, of degree n. In x and y, in x and y, then prove that, then prove that x do v by do x plus y do v by do y is equals to a x plus b y plus c is x. Sorry, a x plus b y plus n. A x plus b y plus n into v. So six marks question. Okay. So it is given that your v is equals to z e power a x plus b y. Z is a homogeneous function of degree n in x and y. Then, so it is given that your v is equals to z e power a x plus b y. And also given z is a homogeneous function of degree n in x and y. What Euler's theorem says, if f is a homogeneous degree of n in x and y, then we can say x do f by do x plus y do f by do y is equals to n f. Here v is a homogeneous function. Therefore, by Euler's theorem, we can say, by Euler's theorem, we can say, x do v by do x plus y sorry z right z is a function z y do z by do y is equals to n z okay which is equals to n z now we just differentiate partially with respect to x because we want do v by do x therefore we'll get do v by do x is equals to z into is it keeping is it constant? We are differentiating e power a x plus b y. Again, we'll get e power a x plus b y because we are differentiating partially with respect to x. X alone differentiating a x differentiation becomes a. Keeping a e power a x plus b y, then differentiating z will get do z by do x. Do z by do x. Therefore, let us take e power a x plus b y common. We'll have x into that is a z plus do z by do x. Now we want x do v by do x. Now you find out x do v by do x is equals to, let us take this as equation 2 and this as equation 1. Okay, x do v by do x is equals to, we will have multiplying by x, therefore we will get e power a x plus b y into a x z plus x do z by do x. Okay, next one, do v by do y, which means that Partially differentiating, partially differentiating with respect to y. Z e power ax plus by z e power ax plus by. With respect to y, we are differentiating by differentiation. We will get b plus keeping e power ax plus by constant. Then differentiating z will get do z by do y because differentiating with respect to y, right? So therefore, we will get e power ax plus by into do z by do y. Therefore, we'll take a e power ax plus by common. We'll get bz plus do z by do y. Now, multiplying by y on both sides, we'll get y do v by do y is equals to e power ax plus by into byz plus y do z by do y. Now, I want to find out what is x do v by do x plus y do v by do x. x do v by do x plus y do v by do y which is equal to c, this is x dou v by dou x, e power ax plus by, ax z plus x dou z by dou x. This is y dou v by dou y, e power ax plus by, by z plus y dou z by dou z by dou y. Now, e power ax plus by is common, e power ax plus by is common. Let us take e power ax plus by common, therefore we will have ax z plus by z plus x do z by do x plus y do z by do y. Isn't it? x do z by do x plus y do z by do y. From equation 2, we can say x do z by do x plus y do z by do y equals to n z. Substitute the value. Therefore, we will get x do v by do x plus y do v by do y is equals to e power a x plus b y into a x z plus b y z plus you can instead of x do z by do x plus y do z by do, do y is equals to n z from 2 
you can say from 2, I can substitute the value as nz, therefore this becomes nz. Now let us take z common outside, therefore this becomes z e power ax plus by into ax plus by plus n. Now we know that from 1, z e a power x plus by is equal to what? b. From 1, we can say z is e power ax plus by is nothing but b. Therefore I can say x dou v by dou x plus y dou v by dou y is equal to v into ax plus by plus n. Hence the proof. Isn't it? So therefore we have proved that x dou v by dou x plus y dou v by dou x is equal to ax plus by plus n multiplied by v. So this is the proof. So it is given that v is equal to z e power ax plus by. And one more condition is given, z is a homogeneous function of degree n in x and y. Now we are going to prove that x dou v by dou x plus y dou v by dou y is equal to ax plus by plus n into v. So since it is given that z is a homogeneous degree uh, of degree n in x and y, we can say by Euler's theorem, x dou z by dou x plus y dou z by dou y equals to n z. First of all, I am just differentiating partially with respect to x. Then dou v by dou x is equal to e power ax plus by, a z plus d z dou z by dou x. Now multiplying x on both sides, that becomes x dou v by dou x equals to e power ax plus by into a x z plus x dou z by dou x. Similarly, we are finding out y dou v by dou y is equal to e power ax plus by, b y z plus y dou z by dou x. Adding all these two will get x dou v by dou x plus y dou v by dou x. So let us e power ax plus by is common. We having ax z by z plus x dou z plus y dou z by dou y. So from 2 we can say x dou z by dou x plus y dou z by dou y is equal to n z. Therefore I am substituting n z there. Then we let us take out z common outside. We have z e power ax plus by into ax plus by plus n. Z e power ax plus by is nothing but your b. Therefore substituting the value there as b. Hence we will get that result. Therefore, x dv by dx, y dv by dou, dy, sorry, dou v by dou y is equal to v into ax plus by plus n. Okay? So, this is another 6 mark question. With this, we are finishing the 6 marks also. First, 3 10 marks, 1 from your partial differentiation, 2 from your Euler's theorem. Here is also 3 different problems we have did here in the 6 marks. And remaining 2 multiple choice questions is there. Just go through the book back of your questions. That is from your volume 2. Let us go, go, go through that. You will be getting surely, easily, you will be getting 18 marks from your 6th unit. That is your applications of differential calculus 2. So with this we are finishing off this chapter, this unit. Then we will go on to the next unit called integral calculus.